a quick video on just how and why I wax my bicycle chain. Um, the reason being is that it keeps it incredibly clean. Um, I've been doing this for a couple of years and I just can't fault it on the road bikes. I tend not to use it on the mountain bikes because they just get too crappy. But this chain's done about 150 miles. Um, it is dirty. Normally I would do it at about 100 mile mark but I've been lazy. I'll pretend I've been busy but I've just been lazy. And as you can see after 150 miles there's virtually no residue, a slight grey pastiness. And so the wax seems to repel most of the dirt um, and grime and keeps all the links nice and supple. And it really does extend the life of the chain and the intervals at which you have to clean the chain. Um, the only downside is that the cleaning of the chain is a bit more involved than just um, just running it through a chain cleaner and re-oiling it. But like I say, you don't get oily uh, marks on your legs. And um, yeah, it works really, really well for me. Um, as I say, the only ball ache is cleaning it. Nice quick release on the chain. There you go, self disassembly. Um, I use two different pots. One um, contains dirty petrol. Um, this is uh, to clean off the initial wax and most of the crap that's stuck to the chain. And the second bath is a clean pot of petrol. Um, this one um, obviously gets less contaminated than the first bath. You can see after just a few shakes um, the dirt that's coming out of the chain. Uh, it's really discoloured the petrol already. Normally you get 10 cleans out of one of these uh, before you have to change the petrol. Right, I'm going to let that sit for about 10 minutes now. Let it soften up the wax. It's time to extract the chain from this uh, solution and uh, let it dry for a few minutes before putting it in the clean petrol. A bit tricky doing this one-handed. And it usually takes a few attempts. So I've hung the chain up to dry for a few minutes, uh, let the worst of the petroleum spirit evaporate off. Um, I've extracted the uh, two quick links using the magnet out of the petrol. Um, once this has dried off a bit, it's going in the clean petrol for round two. And that is the colour of the dirty petrol. Um, hopefully this has removed most of the dirt so that the clean petrol stays um, relatively fresh for longer. Cleaning done. Now let's extract the chain and um, it's time to get on with the waxing process. I'm going to let this dry for 10 minutes in the air to get rid of the petroleum spirit. The wax I use comprises of lamp oil, which is used for garden lamps, and plain white candles. The pan contains a uh, mixture of the melted candles and um, some of the uh, lamp wax that I showed earlier. Um, the idea is to get it to a consistency where it's soft to the touch. Now I think some of the lamp oil evaporates out when you're um, heating it, so I'm going to add a smidge more just to soften it a touch. It is a bit of a dark art, but you just want it so that it's a little bit soft under, under the fingers. Um, so I'm going to heat this up. Back to a liquid form. This is an old batch that I made oh, a long time ago um, and it's done, well, dozens of chains. The way I like to check the uh, consistency of the wax is simply to very quickly dip a screwdriver into it uh, and let it cool for a second and then test the, uh, test the finish of the wax. Once it's dried, uh, if you take your finger and just try and smear the wax and it doesn't smear easily, you could probably do with a bit more oil in there. I'm going to keep doing that until I get a soft result. 
don't know if you can make that out but that is smearing the wax so I would say that's enough it's still hard but it's soft enough to smear which is perfect that's exactly what we want okay with the chain in there you want to apply a little bit of heat to the wax uh, because it does start to consolidate around the cold chain and then you have to be careful with the heat because if you're not careful you will boil the um, wax and it starts smoking quite quickly just keeping it liquid I move the chain around until all the air bubbles come out from all the links and then we'll let it marinate for about 10 minutes we'll keep putting the heat on and off keeping the wax hot but not smoking and it should fill all the joints I think that's probably sufficient um, so I'm going to extract the chain now again using a magnet and I have to be very careful because this is one hot chain and it's covered in dripping wax freshly waxed they're always a bit stiff uh, the links when they're first waxed so you kind of have to well they will break themselves quite easily but um, once they've um, once you've loosened the joint they then become supple um, so I'm going to fit this to the bike if you look at each link you can see the build up of wax on each like where it's dripped down and settled and if it focuses but a beautifully clean chain I will give it a quick wipe with the rag as well just to make sure all the excess flaky wax has come off it but yeah all good happy with that okay chain fitted it's super clean being wax I know there's no going to be any crap build up or oil or gunge on any of the components um, lovely and smooth you will see flaky wax coming off it for the first um, half a mile or so but once it beds in everything's good super pleased with that all in all that took probably an hour to do 